Hello. It's Friday. I haven't recorded anything since Wednesday, though, I think. Thursday was fine. Yes, it was fine. I was working. It was a busy day and you know, not really anything of interest to, to record. So today is Friday. I'm out. It's friggin' beautiful. It's also friggin' busy. I've just been in Cafe Nido for an overpriced coffee in Croissant. Other coffee shops are available. And yeah. Well, I watched my kids well. I love it. Although I managed to get a seat fairly easily, I was intending to do some editing. So I rocked up with the laptop. Couldn't find a socket. Um, couldn't get onto the Wi Fi. And then realised that I forgot my glasses. And at nearly 50 years old, I can't see shit without glasses, so yeah. So that put me to that. I then end up doing some paperwork at arm's length. Drank my coffee. And listened to some Pink Floyd and then a little bit of David Bowie. If for no other reason than to drown out the round-wounding man who was uh, sitting opposite me. Talking very loudly to one of his colleagues. So, sorry, this is a bit jiggly, isn't it? I've forgotten that you have to watch this. Well, you don't have to watch it, obviously. So, yeah, I'm at the fort. I'm heading to Marks and Spencer's. And TMI, I'm going to go and pick up some big pants and a wire free bra because I'm 50. And that's what we women do. Stay tuned. So, I'm in Marks and Spencer's. And I'm on a no spend year of clothes, accessories, pointless house decor, perfume, that kind of thing. And I'm, and I'm, my head's down, I'm blinkered, I'm not buying anything, I'm not looking at anything, I'm not looking at anything, I'm not buying anything, I'm not buying anything, I'm not buying anything. Not buying anything. Hello, it's four o'clock, it's still Friday, and yes, I have a red lip, just because. Just because. I'm back from the fort. I'm, I've picked up my big pants. I'm wearing the wire free bra as a tester. But obviously in order for it to feel halfway comfortable, it has to take the label off. So I guess I'm keeping it regardless. Um, and I'm sitting doing some editing and I don't know why I do this to myself. I thought I was on top of it, but it's now Friday, the video should already be up, and I'm only at last Sunday. And I don't have a Swish editing suite, as I've said before, it's a freebie on my laptop, my laptop's quite old, so when you upload anything, it takes a bit of an age. So I'm thinking about going and making some scones. I don't have any jam. Can I have scones without jam? I'm also just binge watching Alice and Jack on Channel 4, which I think started a few days ago. Mm, not in this vlog, because this is is this for this vlog? See, I'm confused. I don't know what I don't know what week we're on. I don't know what day it is. I don't know anything. I, what I do know is that today I whilst yes, I had a long lie, because it's, it's Friday and I don't, I don't do any massage on a Friday. I do admin on Friday, which I have done. Um, I got up and I went out and I did one of the things that I always love to do and that was find a coffee shop somewhere, buy an overpriced coffee, sit and watch the world go by, do a bit of people watching, do a bit of work, listen to some music, Listening in on other people's conversations, not the windy guy who was sitting opposite me. And I used to love doing that. And I stopped. There was times when I used to, when Tuesday was my day off, I used to get on a bus and I used to go into town. And I used to sit in a coffee shop in town. And then I would probably walk home. I just I haven't 
done that for a long time. And that's because I have taken, not to my bed, but I have, I've, I've taken to coming home and, and sitting in my house. And yes, when I'm out in a coffee shop, yes, I'm on my own, but I'm amongst other people and I feel mildly sociable. Whereas I'm at home and I'm on my own, but with my cat. I think my point is, uh, what is my point? I feel better. I feel, I feel as though I can, I can just get up in the morning, regardless of what time it is, and, and do some of the stuff that I haven't done for a long time. We're talking pre-COVID. Um, and I think that's a win. And it might seem insignificant to m many people, but when it's been one of your things, I mean, I, I always like to, to support small coffee shops, although I didn't today, and, and find somewhere other than a Costa to drink my coffee in. Um, and always find somewhere with nice pastry. And I just haven't done that for a while. And I hadn't realised that I hadn't done that for a while. The weather has helped. I mean, it was unlikely that if it was pissing down with rain that I would have done it. But who knows? You know, I have the car. I've got no reason to walk anywhere. But the negative side of that same coin is that I should have went for a run today. And I didn't. And whilst it was beautifully sunny, it was a bit breezy. And we've said this before, running in the wind. I'd rather run in rain than run in wind. So I'm not, I'm not feeling that pleased with myself. You know, I got out. Should have got out and gone for a run. However, tomorrow is another day. So I'm going to stick with this editing. I've uploaded a whole lot of things and it's just getting nowhere, so... I can't see me moving from the spot for a long time. Long enough to go and make scones, so stay tuned. So, as is my want, it's quarter to nine and I've decided I'm going to make scones. I was going to wait until tomorrow, but they'll take ten minutes, so stay tuned for the final result. So we have the finished product. Excuse that, my washing machine's on. And which I'll show you what's happened in my washing machine. However, I digress. So we have the scones, finished product. Say ça. The recipe called for 10. I said you could get 10. I managed to get seven. I've baked five. I know I said in my previous video I didn't have jam. I don't have jam, but I do have Vimto fruit spread. <laughs> and whilst that's not, you know, traditional, it does add a certain sweetness because the recipe I used didn't have any sugar in it. And I would normally put about a tablespoon of sugar in it, but although I took sugar out of the cupboard because it wasn't in the recipe, I didn't do it. So without the jam, you know, they're just, just a plain scone, which is fine, but it's better with jam. So, to the washing machine. Yes, that is the little plastic hoochie do that has the washing powder in it. Stuck. Stuck in the door. Amazing. Morning, it's Sunday. It's not morning. It's 12.30, Ryan's here, and I'm heading out to do some shopping. Actually, all of this shopping that I should have done yesterday, but got bogged down in drinking coffee and eating pastry. Um, and I think I might buy a plant, which is probably not a great idea, because the little pussycats will probably be in all about it. But I've seen a really nice um, parlour pan that I want. And I want a tall one, I want a big one. Because I've got a wee one.
And luckily it's fake. But I want a big one. I want a proper one. But, you know, that may be an incredibly bad idea. Anyway, I hope you're well. Did I say it was Sunday? It's not, it's Saturday. Did I say it was Saturday? See? No idea. I took a pair of earrings this morning, which I don't have in. And why don't I have them in? I don't have them in because I couldn't remember how to put them in. Now, that sounds ridiculous. It's another fake plant. But they were big hoops. And I actually had a menopausal moment, the same as I had a menopausal moment a few weeks ago when I was putting up my curtains, that thrilling time-lapse video that I recorded for you, that I couldn't remember how to put the curtain hooks in. Seriously. I just, it's, it's one of these brain fog moments where something that you have done on numerous occasions suddenly becomes really difficult and not even difficult you have absolutely no idea how to do it so you either muddle along like I did with the curtain hooks or you just think I'm just not going to wear different earrings today and you put them back in the jewellery box um, and hope that in the next six months when you take them back out you have some idea of how to put them in your ears send help stay tuned I'm also now out in the street trying to recollect where to park the car. And that's not unusual for me, menopause or not, because I live in a really long street where parking is incredibly difficult. So you just you grab a space where you can. But I came home yesterday and I think I might have parked up on the main road because I went round and round and round and I thought, that's really annoying because it's only, I think it was only three o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday and the place was heaving. I seriously have no idea. And, I, and, I, and what's going to happen is I'm going to walk all the way up to the main road, cross the road, and the car's not going to be there, is it? Send help. So... In celebration of me making scones last night at nine o'clock, I rather indulgently went out today and I treated myself to half decent jam. Sorry, conserve. And I've just whipped up some double cream. I'm going to sit with a cup of tea and I'm going to eat two scones. Piled high. Actually, I might eat off fucking three. There's only three left. Piled high with jam and cream and butter. Did you? Good afternoon. It's Sunday. Definitely Sunday. It's 10 to 3. I can't see a thing so I've no idea what I look like but I suppose that doesn't really matter given that you've had five weeks worth of me in varying states of makeup, no makeup, eye bags, sag, cold sores. <laughs> this is no different. So. Uh, it's Sunday, it's beautiful. I'm sitting on my doorstep. I'm assuming the position, hoping that spring is going to spring, which is unlikely because we'll probably get snow next month. And I have been for a run this morning. I did a cheeky wee three miles around the local park. I've inhaled a bagel pre and post workout and now a cup of tea. I bought some kombucha because I'm bougie. Not boozy, bougie. Um, just because it was on the list of good for gut health. And then, um, yeah, I've, I've hoovered, which is another workout. 
I've done my recycling. My God, this is thrilling, thrilling life I lead. I guess the problem with sitting on my doorstep is that I get lots of people walking past me under my mind talking to myself. Anyway, I'm going to do not very much. I'm going to sit and read a book. I'm going to drink my kombucha. <coughs> I'm going to take in the sun, get the sun into my eyeballs thing. Because it helps my circadian rhythm or something, so. I feel like Mr. Mag Mr. Magoo. I can't see myself, I don't know what I look like. Anyway, I'm rambling, which is what I do. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Because this is on the edge <clears throat> of your sweet stuff. Tuesday and it's a beautiful day finally I mean it's a bit funny up until about 10 minutes ago but you know that spring has sprung when Lindsay starts to buy plants so I am fully prepared for a bit of gardening I have my new plant I have a pot of tea and my plant bit. Oh, that's not a cup of tea. Look at that. Mm -mm. I have a donut and some toast and I have some seeds, which I think I'm about a month early in sowing them, but ah, fuck it. Morning. It's Wednesday. It's 10 to 11. I'm having my breakfast, cup of tea, protein water, with all of the accoutrements in it. We'll come to that. Um, I'm working at 12. So I'm just going to sit for the next wee while and enjoy this. Today's a funny day because I don't start till 12 and I finish at half past five. And it's funny because I normally work 10 till 2. So I don't know how I've managed to make myself these hours today. I think it was down to the fact that I had a client, a very a regular weekly client, who wanted to book for this week and, and I didn't have anything. So me being the people pleaser that I am, made up a random half past four. So there we are. But that's a bit annoying because it means I don't finish till half past five. And I wanted to go to Zumba tonight, but it's, I think it's at quarter to seven. By the time I finish up, tidy the room, do the paperwork, get home, find a parking space, get something to eat, I don't think I'm going to make it. Plus, I'm quite tired and I'm sore, which brings me to the protein water with accoutrements. Not necessarily the protein water, although the protein is meant to help with <clears throat> muscle repair. But I'm sore. And I went for a run on... Oh God, I don't know when I went for a run. When did I go for a run? <clears throat> what day is this Wednesday? Sunday? I went for a run on Sunday. The run prior to that was Tuesday. The week, you know. I went to the pool on Monday. And I'm just... I'm lying in my bed last night. And I woke up a couple of times and my body hurts sore. And I thought the protein and the collagen come to that as well. And the creatine was all meant to help with that. And I don't know if this is a new thing. I don't know if it's simply because I have exercise. And after my run, I did do some strength work for that. My funny pain I'm getting on my left side, which is bothering my knee and my foot. So I did, you know, get the band out and I did do some some hefty band work. So I don't know if it's just that or is it the HRT? Because 
I've heard that that can be a, a side effect of HRT is like the very opposite of what you want. With, you know, the, the very opposite is that you want the HRT to help with, with the, the muscle and joint aches and pains, whereas the HRT can actually cause them. So I'm concerned about, a little bit concerned about that. The collagen powder, I haven't been taking that regularly over the past few days because I've been trying to avoid it with milk. Now, you may or may not have noticed, it's quite irritating, but you may or may not have noticed over the videos that I clear my throat quite a lot. <clears throat> Cesa. And that's something I've had for a long time. It's a, it's a silent reflux thing that I have that, I have spent many years trying to be di diagnosed um, and I decided to self-diagnose. And it is, it gets better if I watch my diet, if I avoid certain foods. And a couple of the very specific foods are coffee. You can kind of sometimes get away with decaf, but coffee and milk, dairy. And I like having the collagen powder with milk because it's a bit meh with water, I'm going to lie. It's a bit thin and a bit blah. Um, but I was finding that it was, it was irritating me. So I was having it in the morning and it was irritating me for the first maybe hour of work. <clears throat> and, but however, I'm doing it now, which some would say is a habit now, because I haven't had any collagen powder for about four days and I haven't had any coffee for three days. This is tea. But it does still have a splash of milk, but it has no, by no means as much milk as I would have in coffee. So I don't know. I don't know if the two are completely unrelated. I don't know if I need to come off milk completely, not drink coffee, try decaf, try the whole diet. Elimination diet all over again. <laughs> Don't really want to. Um, so that's why I've been off the collagen powder. So is that is that causing my aches and pains because I'm not supplementing my depleting collagen levels with the powder? Anyway, lots to think about. As a cat. So today is a. A fairly long day and uh, I just get on with it and I will see you on the other side probably not at Zumba I might leave that till next week so stay tuned so it's Wednesday night and Brian and I are just hanging out in what seems to be a very empty surfaced kitchen because tomorrow, I get a new splashback. Now, I've been waiting for that splashback. Well, obviously for the 17 years that I've lived in this flat, but it should have been installed in December, possibly November. Um, but um, my peri, my at the time perimenopausal memory got the better of me, and I was a fool. 24 hours late in expecting the joiner. So I was fully convinced that the joiner had agreed to come on the Wednesday. So I cleared everything away as I have done here. Everything is cleared away. On the other side of the kitchen and I got up ridiculously early and I waited and I waited and I better waited and there was nothing. So I thought, right, who do, who do I phone? Who do I text? The landlord? Joiner? Let's just take, let's just check the text message. Yeah. So I was waiting on the Wednesday and the joiner had been at my house, at my door at quarter past eight on the Tuesday morning. And that would explain the missed call that I got from him at about nine o'clock. I had completely slept through him knocking on the door. I'd completely slept through my phone vibrating beside me. And yeah, apparently wasn't best pleased, but you know, shit happens. 
so today text message from the joiner i can come tomorrow brilliant i'm not working until four so i will be putting the phone on a ringer and not on silent and i will be setting a very early alarm so that i'm up and uh, ready and not sleeping through so uh, yes stay tuned hello it is still wednesday and it's 25 to 10 i've come to bed because i've got to get up early for the joiner and i was having a think about what i was saying this morning about the kind of body aches joint pain mus muscular pain my feet and ankles feel sore is it the HRT? Is it because I'm not taking the collagen? Is it because I'm exercising more? So I've been sitting tonight just trying to do a little bit of research and I have noticed that, and I and I did notice this anyway, but the penny has kind of dropped. The type of HRT that I am taking, it's an it's the oral, it's the it's the oral type. Um and some would say that that's not the best way to do it transdermal is potentially better through a patch however um, and the reason for that is um i've only got green tablets left however there were 12 no there were 16 white tablets at the start of the packet and that is the that's the estrogen estrogen this kind of synthetic estrogen estradiol or something it's called um and you take those for 16 days and having a look at some of the forums and some of the research that those white pills because they're they're estrogen type pills that's when the majority i think of women start to feel um a significant change and not least can be said for me, a lot of a lot of women have have had the same response as I have. My mood has lifted. I'm sleeping better. I'm waking up in the morning. I don't haven't had any um, headaches. I haven't had any nausea. I'm wanting to exercise. I'm feeling a bit more sprightly. And after those sixteen days, you you then go on to the synthetic progesterone, and it's it's very much a bit like PMT um just with you know your general cycle um but you have to take the progesterone in order to continue the correct um process of the lining of your womb and stuff like that we're getting we're getting TMI but what <coughs> some women are finding is that the green pills are it's almost like the, the, they're taking away the, from the positive effect of of the white oestrogen pills. And I'm wondering if that's what it is. I've now got to the green stage. Now my mood hasn't changed. I don't, I'm not experiencing any nausea. I'm not experiencing anything that I was prior to taking the HRT. Um, but I'm now starting things are starting to hurt ankles feet um my neck is a bit sore you know now i have a fairly physical job i stand all day is it that i mean i was i was knackered after today and i was sore um and is it being perpetuated by this um but it's just one of these things I have to take out. I have to see whether or not it works. If after finishing this packet, <coughs> excuse me, um, do I see how I feel? I suppose I'll go into the white pills next month and the cycle will continue. Therein, therein lies the pun, you know, the, the cycle continues. Um, so it might be that. <coughs> so I need to decide over a greater period of time of taking the HRT in its entirety, green pills and all, whether I ex whether I continue to experience these kind of symptoms and whether or not they become become uh, cumulative or whether they become <clears throat> um, worse 
more debilitating. And then that's a conversation to have, I guess, with the doctor about a different type. Um, because it seems that a lot of women can't tolerate synthetic progesterone. So <clears throat> we'll, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Um, and if a little bit of joint pain is what I have to put up with, then then we'll just we'll just bash on, um, and it might be that um, we'll exercise more exercise, more mobility work, my collagen, my weight bearing resistance training all starts to to help with that um but it does it does seem from some of the forums that have gone on that the white pills are the holy grail and some women have gone online and said i'm, I'm getting really nervous i'm coming up to the last couple of white pills and then i'm getting nervous about starting the green pills because the last 16 days have been great it has it has turned things around and it things turned around for me within a, a within probably about 11 or 12 days <clears throat> and it's been since what's today Wednesday so it's probably been since Monday uh, yesterday that I've noticed and I started taking the green pills on Sunday um so we'll see stay tuned Good morning. It's Thursday. It's ten thirty, and I've been up since I've been awake since about seven. Up since about quarter to eight because the joiner is here today to put my new splash back in. But news flash: we're having a conversation. Joiner, uh, John, lovely man, um, having a conversation about how I am. Despite having lived in this house for 17 years, I am not good at asking my landlord for things. Because it's a great flat, it's a great size, it's a great location. The rent is incredibly reasonable. And I don't want to get pushy so that it goes out. I'm giving you a month's notice. Because I don't know what I would do. However, John knows this. Because John has done some work in the flat in the past when things have gone wrong, not when it's needed refurbished. And we have this conversation fairly often when he comes. And today was no different. So he walks into the kitchen and he says, how long has this kitchen been in here? It's a bit past it, Lindsay, is it not? So he starts to take the wallpaper off the walls and then he starts to take off the tiles and he says, you know, that's a really bad sign when you can take tiles off by hand, which just indicates how long they've been in place. And obviously the tile adhesive is no longer adhesing. <laughs> um, and he's like, yeah, this is really, this is really bad. Now it's not, as far as I'm concerned, it's not really bad. You know, it's, 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 you know, a standard kind of beach kitchen. I changed the handles. A few years ago, you know, and it does the job. The worktop isn't great. Not me. I use a chopping board. Um, but, you know, it does the job. And it's not as if I have people over and we sit in the kitchen because it's just not, it's not big enough. So that was fine. We chatted about that. They chatted about me being a feared cat. And then he says, right, I'm just going to go out into the van to get something. Brilliant. Okay. So he was away for about 10 minutes and he came back and he just walks into my sitting room and goes, I've got you a new kitchen. Just like that. He'd phoned my landlord and he'd laid it on pretty thick. I'm not going to lie. Saying, oh, you know, it's a bit, you know, the chipboard's shown and it's chipped and the, the hinges are a bit, you know, falling off. And, the, and there is a, there are a couple of doors where the hinges are a bit dodgy. Um, and the landlord has gone, right, yeah, okay. John's like, how long has it been there, that kitchen? And he's like, mm, yeah, you're probably talking about a good 25 years. 
Yeah, fine. Do what you need to do, John. So today is Thursday. I have cleared everything out. He's already started on uh, the walls. Let me just show you. So that's some of the paper off. That's the tiles that just came off by hand. Some of the tiles which are also broken. So that's the dodgy wall behind it. And this is the kitchen. Horrible extractor fan. There's Brian. Loving the space. And now we're completely empty. Completely empty. Under the sink. Which is potentially a bit damp actually. Something leaking somewhere which is not useful. And this is my sitting room currently. <clears throat> All my appliances. My microwave. My kitchen island. Yeah. So this is going to be me for the next probably three or four days. So my sister is going to get me as a guest for my tea most nights. So there you are. All very exciting. It's meant to be perhaps white high gloss with some wood type worktops, which is great. So stay tuned for the reveal. Hello, it's Thursday, it's 25 to 6, I've got 10 minutes until my next client, just here with the lads. Um, and I'm going to do a very quick stretch because I'm starting to get a bit of pain in my very low back, so I'm getting in my sacrum area, my sacrum, which is... Um, this area here, sacred iliac joint pain, and it's radiating, it's radiating round to here, and that kind of like inguinal, inguinal area, and whether it is just standard muscular tightness, because I'm running and I stand a lot all day, or whether it is the HRT related with joint pain, or is it because, and trigger warning, TMI, are my ovaries firing up after being dormant for 12 months? Because it, it feels, and you know, the women out there will know what I'm talking about, it's, it's that deep kind of ache so the pain at the front is different from the pain at the back. The pain at the back, at the sacral iliac joint, is a bit spicy. Whereas the pain that's radiating round to the front is a bit dull, it's quite deep, it's quite draggy. And I'm wondering if something's happening because I've started on the progesterone. Um, so I'm going to do a quick stretch just to try and mobilise the area. Um, and we'll see how we feel. Mm. 